Overall, awesome episode. I'm really enjoying this show, and Noel is definitely one of the coolest characters this season for me. Have you guys noticed how much better the animation has gotten in the last few episodes? It seems like a lot of folks skip this anime because of its pretty standard art and storyline. I'm really happy I gave it a shot. It's definitely the most underrated anime this season. Noel's conviction seems to be all over the place. After Lloyd and Tanya turned on him, he decided to sell them into slavery. Loki pulls a fast one and betrays him, but he lets it slide. I really thought Albert was gonna ask for the village chief's daughter as some kind of payment for his late dues. It's teetering on the line between being edgy and just being a seriously messed up dark fantasy world where death is always lurking around the corner. Totally didn't see that coming, man. I mean, the dude lost his eye and now his right arm? That daughter is definitely going to end up hating Noel, no doubt about it. I'm really into how they actually follow through on setups like this. In a bunch of fantasy tales, the main character might go after someone who ripped them off, but they usually skip over what happens to that scammer when they don't get the cash they were counting on. The Gambino family doesn't mess around. They don't care about the details. You didn't get the cash, and that's what counts. Now, they're coming for an arm man that's rough. Wow, Koga's backstory really hit me in the feels. His poor mom was really struggling after that awful experience, looking like a shadow of the woman she used to be. That's a bummer. If you can't win the fight fair and square, it's usually a good idea to go for the family jewels. Poor Noel in this episode. So, they didn't take out the slave owner, and he just spills all the tea on Noel. The village chief swings by too, spilling the beans on Noel, his go-to info broker who totally sells him out, and to top it all off, he's stuck footing the bill for the ladies' lunch. Today's just not the best for our guy. That's rough for Koga. Getting rejected and sold into slavery by his dad Plus, he kind of looks like his dad did when he was younger. So it seems like the dad just couldn't shake the thought that Koga wasn't really his. If only they had DNA tests back then, right? Koga is super strong now that he's got the right gear, even though he managed to slice through Chief's arm with just a wooden stick. Poor Koga, his life was messed up before he even got a chance. And the only time he really mattered was when he was a slave taking lives for cash. This dude really needs to step up his life game. It was awesome to watch the village chief get Gambino to go after Noel. He totally deserves it for taking everything from that guy. All's fair in the game, right? And he only lost an arm because of this. By the end of the series, if he keeps showing up, he might end up losing all his bits and pieces. His backstory was pretty rough, but I really hope he makes it and ends up joining Noel's team after Noel looks out for Albert. I'm curious to see how Noel is going to handle his run-in with Koga. Is he gonna take him down by himself or will Alma jump in to help out? Noel has these moments of genuine kindness, even though he can be pretty calculating at times. I'm kinda shocked that Noel just let the info broker walk away. I guess Noel decided to go easy on him since the dude was ready to give up his life for snitching. Unlike the other party members who were just pleading for mercy, nice to see that Noel has a bit of a soft side. He was all worried about the wolf team and Licia totally called him out on it but he brushed it off as just sharing info with his co-workers. Then he went ahead and introduced himself and his skills to Koga, just because Koga showed off his own skills. I was totally caught off guard when Koga interrupted Noel's speaking order, but wow, he just keeps getting more impressive. He wasn't kidding when he said he was all about those slashing attacks. It looks like he can slice through just about anything, no matter how it's shaped. He got caught off guard a few times, so he's not totally unbeatable. Rest in peace to Koga's mom even after going through such a tough experience, was really doing her best to be a good mom and wife. She must have been aware of the rumors, and she looked totally worn out, but her husband's comment really pushed her buttons. I get why the husband is frustrated, but it definitely wasn't his fault. She and Koga totally deserved better. I'm kind of surprised Noel didn't bring Alma along as backup. That feels like the obvious move, right? Ending an episode right in the middle of a fight really gets on my nerves. Next episode should be a cool continuation of the fight. I'm kind of surprised Alma isn't around since she promised to protect him, right? Her fingers crossed. That's the surprise twist in the next episode, because I really want to see those two go at it 